Hi there, Jason here from English Raven, and um, in this uh, reasonably quick tutorial, uh, I'm going to be uh, well. I'm going to show you how to do something that's quite nifty um, with your materials design. Something that can be really, really useful, actually, um, but it does require that you have um, Adobe Acrobat, um, not just Adobe Reader, but that you've um, converted your material to PDF and that you have um, a version of Adobe Acrobat. Um, and what we can do if, if <coughs> excuse me, if you have Adobe Acrobat, you are able to actually do a lot more with your document than you might realize. Uh, one of those things is you can actually insert audio into your document. Um, now you can do that in Microsoft Word as well. There is a tool and I, I could show it to you, but it's only a little bit useful. The Microsoft Word version, you can insert your audio file into Microsoft Word, but um, you do need to be, uh, the file is still separate. Um, you still need to have that audio file on the same hard drive as the, um, as the computer that you actually upload the document from. So, for example, if you wanted to play that in class, uh, unless you had uh, made the document on that computer in your classroom and it was linked to the audio file on the same computer you know unless that happened it wouldn't work so you're not quite as portable but when you are using PDF and you have Adobe you can insert that audio into your document and it stays in the document doesn't matter where it goes um, doesn't matter who uploads it um, it can be played straight out of that PDF document so I'm going to show you quickly how to do that um, this is the Halloween material that I developed in the last tutorial um, and you can see we've got both a, a quick reading passage as well as a listening activity. Now I do have um, audio files for those two uh, inputs. Uh, I have um, an audio of someone reading aloud this invitation and I have some audio of this um, dialogue of the two people doing the dialogue. So rather than uh, using it in class as a separate file, I could actually, on my beam projector, put this material up and press a little icon here that then they just played the audio straight out of the document. It's also really useful if you want to send the documents home to the students, like to if you send it by email, they'll be able to open up the document and they'll be able to listen to the audio from within that document. So I'll quickly show you how you do that. All right, we are in Adobe. I'll go back to my first page, sorry. I'm going to make an audio insertion for this one here to start with. Now what you need to do is you'll notice in your Adobe Acrobat menu you've got all these things along the top. The one you want to look for is this one which is add 3D objects, flash movies and other interactive elements to PDF files. So you click on that and what we want to do is choose the sound tool. Now you can also insert videos but I probably wouldn't recommend it because video files are quite large and remember whatever you insert into the document is going to add to the size of the document. An mp3 file that you've made and formatted it as mp3 is not going to take up too much space but if you put a video in it's going to become quite a heavy document. So you can do it but um, in terms of making it seriously portable and not taking a long time to upload um, audio will work a lot better. And if you've got lots of visual aspects on the page, you know, sometimes all it needs is the audio. So I'm going to sound tool here and I'm going to click on it. Now what it does is, you know, nothing happens. Whoa, hang on, what's going on? But you'll notice that the cursor has changed into a little cross thing. And what that's saying is to me, now you need to indicate where on the page you want this to happen. So I'm going to draw a little square here in the corner of this box, like that, okay? Um, there's a reason I've chosen a square and there's a reason I've chosen that size. Um, but I'm just going to put that in like that. And now it's saying, well, what, what audio file? When it says file, you'll need to browse your files. Um, I've already put these into a file folder ready to go. So this is Halloween track one. This is my MP3 file. I'm going to open that. Now, instead of just saying OK, um, to really sort of get the most out of this, I would recommend that you choose the advanced options here. Click on that and look, you get all these options. Don't worry, most of them you don't need to worry about. Um, enable when doesn't matter, disable when doesn't matter. 
um, playback style, play the content on the page. I would click on that and say play content in floating window. And that way it's not going to interrupt the um, what you've got on the page. It's going to pop up as a little floating window out of the document. Now the preset here on mine is 320 by 240 in terms of the size. Um, I really don't need it to be that big. Um, what I will do is leave it on 320 and change the height to 60. Okay, because I don't need it to be really big. I don't need to be sticking up like that. Uh, width is good, but I, I don't need it to be very high because I just want to show the play bar playing. And you'll see what I what I mean in a moment. So I'm keeping the width at 320, but I'm putting the height as 60 just to keep it a bit slimmer. Um, you may not be you may be wondering what the hell I'm talking about now. You'll see the result when I put it up. Now you could just leave the poster from the media. Um, or you can create a poster and that by poster it means what symbol is going to appear on the page. Now I've prepared a, a little icon already so I'm going to use create poster from file and I'm going to browse my documents and I'm going to choose this this audio A and that's just you can see there it's just a, a pair of headphones. That's just a bit of clip art that I found and I've saved it as audio A and I use that as my little icon to show that I want to um, uh, play a listening track there. So that's just a matter of um, getting an image or a clip art of some sort, saving it to file, and then you can use that as your icon. So I'm going to open that, and I'm done. Now if I press OK, what you'll see is, see how those little headphones appear there? Now if I click out of the document, now if I press play here, if I click on it, see it says click to activate. If I click on that, watch what happens. Halloween party. When? October 31st, 7 p.m. Okay. Notice how it's just put this, uh, this sound bar up here and it's just popped out of that icon. And it's our sound file. Um, I can close that if I want to. I can play it again if I want to. Halloween party. When? October 31st, 7 p.m. Right. And now that is embedded in my document. That is actually embedded in the document. If I then go and save the document, or save as save as, um, it will save the document with that sound file as part of your document. So that means you can email it to yourself. You can use it on any computer you like. You don't need an internet connection. Um, this is the real strength of this. You, you could just upload it off a USB. For example, you could plug your USB in, you could upload this PDF and press play and it will play the audio for you. Now, how that process works, I'll just uh, show you again. I'll go to my second page and I've also got an audio track I want to put in here. Just to run you through that, that menu and that op those options again, I go to this uh, media icon up here, I click on it, I choose sound tool, and then I get this cross uh, uh, thing on my cursor. I then, I might put this one up here. I'll put it up in this corner this time. And I'm just going to drag to make the square shape that I want. Like that. Again, it pops up and says, well, what audio do you want here? I press back browse. In this case, I'm going to go with Halloween track 2. I'm going to open that. Again, I go for the show advanced options. I click on that. Um, I leave the first two options. I go to the playback style and I choose play content in floating window. Uh, the width I'll keep at 320, but the height I will change to 60 just so it's a nice slim bar that doesn't crowd over the top of the content I have on the page. I'll leave the no border option there. I'm going to go down to poster image. I'm going to create a poster from file. I'm going to hit browse. I'm going to choose that audio icon that I've already uploaded into my files. I'm going to open that and then I press OK. And there you go. Click off it and you see we have another little headphone icon there. Now again, if I click on this, it will now play the audio. It will pop up an audio option and it will play in the screen. Hello? 
This is Tom. Hi, it's Susie. I'm calling about Michael's Halloween party. Did you get the invitation? Yes, I'm going. Are you? Okay. So as you can see, we now have audio as part of our document. Now think about the potential for this. If you've got a beam projector, you can plug in the USB, you can upload your PDF file, you can present this material to the class, and you can play the audio straight through the speakers in the classroom off that. You don't have to upload a separate uh, file, you don't have to use a CD, whatever. It's all in this one resource. Um, same for the one I made here. Um, you may need to play around until you find an icon that works for you and you may, may need to play around with how that uh, appears when you drag your little box. Um, and remember, materials design and learning how to use these tools is all about experimentation and just trying stuff. You know, you, you, you're not going to fall down dead or get arrested for trying new stuff with your materials design. Uh, I don't think so anyway. Um, so that's how you insert your audio. Um, you do need Adobe Acrobat and look if you're serious about your materials design I recommend that you get Adobe Acrobat Pro. Um, many schools will have it. You, you might like to ask your boss if you don't. Um, as long, if you can show them something like this and say this is what I'm looking at making um, for, for our students, you know, it, that could be what convinces your boss to pay for something like Acrobat. Um, but as you can see, the material looks great, but it also has that audio component, and that's really great. We can send this home as even as homework, and they can fill out their worksheet, but they can also see their worksheet in full color, and they can play the audio. So that's how to embed your audio. I hope that's uh, something you'll consider learning how to do. And, you know, good luck with your materials design, and get Adobe Acrobat Pro if you're a pro, or if you'd like to be a pro. Thanks, and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.